I wanted to get your reaction to the judge's decision to not release the video of Andrew Brown Jr. shooting to the public at this time. Yeah, I think it's really one of the reasons why people don't trust the entire criminal justice system from top to bottom. It seems as if the judges and the DA sometimes and uh, you know, uh, the, the, those people who are in positions of authority are all working together. It makes no sense to hold on to that tape. Right. It only continues the feeling of distrust um, and the rage that is be beginning to develop and probably has been for far too long with people who don't trust the system. And instead of us dealing with police brutality and police accountability as a nation, we rather hide videos um, and try to find ways to criminalize protesters and to do everything except ensuring that the system is just. Just to play devil's advocate, is there any argument for him doing it as a way to bring down the temperature a bit? Because he's going to reevaluate in 30 to 45 minutes. What's days. unfortunate is bringing down the temperature at this point is probably not going to happen. People know that Andre Brown was killed unjustly. Um, and certainly I feel that way. Even though some people may feel different ways about what happened to Micaiah Bryant, she still was killed by a police officer within seconds. And you're still dealing with George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and the list goes, or Dante Wright, the list goes on and on. So the temperature is high. And the only thing that's going to temper and cool people down is a show of accountability. And that's, that's it. We're at the point that there must be consequences for bad behavior. Well, we saw how vital the video was to getting Derek Chauvin charged and Absolutely. convicted. So with the judge's decision, how do you think that that's going to affect the family's um, pursuit of accountability for the officers? Well, first of all, we cannot be in a society that has to have a video in order to deal with the abuse of black people by uh -huh. police. Uh -huh. There's too many examples with video and without that there's a problem. And so regardless of whether we have a video, we know that what happened to Andre Brown was not right. I mean, this man, from what I'm hearing, was shot in the back of his head after trying to flee. And so there's no reason for that. I still do believe though that if the system wants to right side itself, there's no reason to hide information. There's no reason to hold back, put it all out there and let the public decide what they see.